After waiting what has felt like an age, Android 12 has now arrived, with a literal mountain of changes, tweaks and some tuning to sink your teeth into. And we've whittled down or distilled our deeper dive, which you can see over on the channel, to a selection of 20 of the best features added in Android 12. Features we really think you'll love right from the get go. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. So we're going beyond Material U here though. The wallpaper based theming approach sure is different to what we've seen on Pixel hardware in years prior, but there are a few or a, some things that we think you'll love even a few things to kind of hate. A lack of independent customization being one sore point for just about everybody out there. Even so, selecting 20 of the top features in Android 12 is no easy task. With over 100 new user facing additions, functions and tweaks, there is so much here to try out for yourself. We have done the hard work though, so you don't have to. And these are 20 of our favorite new features in Android 12. The fact that it's taken until Android 12 to even get a dedicated one hand mode in AOSP is genuinely quite shocking. Then when you consider the way it has been implemented and it does owe a lot to iOS and the reachability mode and you kind of scratch your head wondering why we have waited so long to get an option in the core build of Android. However long the wait though, it is just nice to have the option to use larger smartphones without requiring some sort of hand gymnastics or huge hands to use comfortably. Unfortunately though, you cannot access the one handed mode unless you're happy to use gesture navigation, which is a little bit of a disappointment. Yeah, another feature that has been so long in the making that we were beginning to wonder if it would even ever arrive. You might not even remember QuickTap as it was originally codenamed Columbus. Basically, this new gesture lets you double tap the back of your pixel to do things like activating the flashlight, activating the Google Assistant, taking screenshots or launching an app, for instance. It's taken Google so long to implement that even iOS has had the option for over a year at this point, and you'll need to go into the settings to enable a feature, but it is a great way to access common parts of Android without needing to unlock your device. People are rightly taking privacy on their smartphones and connected devices more seriously nowadays, and the number of perm permissions that many apps request upon first launch and are accepted without much thought can be remedied in Android 12. If any app is concurrently or very recently accessing any of your on-device cameras or microphones, then you'll now see a small green dot or icon at the upper left of your smartphone display. This is just a quick indicator that an app or service has accessed either hardware on your smartphone. Expanding the notification shade and tapping the icon itself informs you though which app has just done so. An extended feature as part of the wider privacy controls, this lets you quickly disable or enable microphone and camera access as well from the quick toggles section on a whim. If you're a big mobile gamer, then the dedicated game dashboard will be a very important new addition to the core builds of Android for Pixel phones. Built directly into do not disturb mode, game dashboard brings a floating pop-up menu with a few extra tweaks and controls to enhance your mobile gaming overall. It doesn't necessarily work with every single game out there, but more games are being added over time. And we're hoping that every single game on the Android Play Store will eventually be available as part of the game dashboard. Android 12 brings some enhancements to the picture in picture mode, which does make a big difference to the overall experience. To better fit with the rest of the rounded aesthetic in Android 12, the playback windows do away with sharp corners with what could be considered a more pill shaped player that does mimic those quick settings toggles. There is a new ability to stash your playing video so that UI portions are not obstructed and you can quickly hide the video on a whim. This means that things like background playback don't affect anything you're currently doing on your smartphone. And when you dismiss or close a playing window, the animation now envelops the player and snaps or pops out of view in a much more consistent process. The process of opening an app from a URL should also be much easier with the verified link feature in Android 12. Effectively, these are URLs that specifically state that it should open an app and are now able to bypass the old open with dialogue that would show on previous versions of Android. You likely won't even notice the feature in action as it kind of acts automatically and does streamline your day to day UI experience. That said, you can head into the settings app and change the behavior of verified links on an app by app basis if you do so wish. To save some time, you can also now quickly grab web page links and images on web pages or in apps themselves, courtesy of a quick select option within the recent apps screen. When viewing that recent apps section, web pages will also include a link icon or an image icon. Tapping this link icon will bring up a color coordinated site link that 
can be copied or shared directly. Alternatively, you can drag that link icon to a recent contact or into the more option, which will launch that wider share sheet so you can share things much more quickly. When tapping that image icon, a similar menu will launch, but this will include lens and save options. Similarly though, dragging downwards opens up three recent contacts or apps with the ability to drag into that more option, which will also launch that wider share sheet. Overall, it's a really nice way to quickly share things without having to download or do things separately beforehand. Yet another long overdue addition, but an important one nonetheless. Scrolling screenshots are finally here in Android 12 and represent one of the most requested features over the past few years. The implementation is not dissimilar to how it has been added in the various third-party Android skins from the likes of OnePlus and Xiaomi out there too. All you have to do is just take a screenshot and if the app or screen can be expanded or it is supported, you will get a capture more toggle appearing in the bottom left preview pop-up. At the moment though, this doesn't work absolutely everywhere. A case in point is that of Chrome, which isn't yet working fully with the scrolling screenshot feature, but it will be added in a future update. Although not completely reliant on Android 12, when using the Google phone as your default dialer, a status bar chip will give you at a glance information on the call progress or the time of your call in progress. This does appear to adapt or change based upon your dynamic color theming on devices where color tuning and accenting is currently supported. This works as a semi replacement for the pop-up bubbles that do offer call controls and give quick access to do things like return to a call in progress. Unlike bubbles though, a status bar call chip fully minimizes phone calls without affecting any other apps you have open or are using at a particular point in time. Tapping this will reopen your call and minimize or open another app and will return to the call status bar chip. Providing you use the Pixel Launcher as your default home screen, when accessing the app drawer, there is now an expanded universal device search option within Android 12. This expanded search lets you find contacts, messages, emails, and apps, so long as you use the default Pixel Launcher on your Pixel phone. It is worth noting that you can access this feature automatically by enabling the keyboard, and each time you swipe up into the Pixel Launcher app drawer, a keyboard will appear so you can tap and search to your heart's content. Alternatively though, you can just access via that search bar at the top of the app drawer as and when you see fit. To help ensure that your phone is in the right orientation all the time, Auto Rotate has been given a big boost in Android 12 with the ability to activate face control rotation. The feature uses a selfie camera to orientate in conjunction with the accelerometer for even more accurate auto rotate results than just using the accelerometer alone. If you often watch things like on YouTube or other video content in landscape mode, then this is a great added feature. You can still use the standard auto rotate mode though, or quickly toggle to snap to landscape orientation if you do prefer that method though. While the Gboard redesign is not technically part of the Android 12 update, it is the stock keyboard on most Android devices. The changes here are only available on those devices as well, running that most recent OS. Top of the new features in this Android 12 specific Gboard build overall is the full compatibility with material U theming and dynamic color tweaks. If you like rounded or soft corners, then the new Gboard will really appeal to you. All of the tweaks are most prominent though when using your on-device light theme. If you're using your phone in the dark or low light environment and want to quickly adjust the screen brightness, then the extra dim feature allows you to do so with a single tap. You can customize the luminance level or brightness of your display to a preset level of your choosing with just a single button press in the quick settings section. Security and personal safety have been elevated in priority within Android 12. And while this might not seem like a big deal, the emergency SOS feature is one of the top new additions for personal safety and for peace of mind. This allows you to press the power button quickly five times or more to have your device emit a loud sound and then a countdown alarm before calling people like the emergency services or a predetermined number of your choice. This will call for help, but your device will be need to be unlocked if you do choose a number that is not directly to those emergency services. All in all though, it is a great additional privacy feature and security feature that I think a lot of people will really appreciate. Privacy is one of the core tenets of Android 12, and this means that a number of new features are gonna be coming to your smartphone, including the ability to give apps and services access to an approximate or precise location data information point. This includes a new pop-up with an animation that indicates the inherent differences when apps request your location. For apps that only require a locale or regional data, this is a great way to conceal or protect your location or precise location without losing access to certain in-app functions or features. 
It seems like every year the power menu on Android is receiving a facelift and the latest looks the best so far, at least in our opinion, despite a few substantial changes. Cards and passes and smart home controls, they have been moved and are now ex ex more accessible in a separate lock screen toggle, leaving the power menu to just be that, a place to access device power controls. This simplification and separation means that this is abundantly clear just what the pop-up menu offers. While previous versions in Android 11 felt like a hub for some incompatible UI and system controls, now there's no confusion and it's all the better for it. When sharing an image, be that a direct screenshot or even an image from your gallery, a new editor has been added to allow you to do things like add emoji, text and draw without needing to first edit your image or screenshot and then share it. For those wondering why this is one of the top features in Android 12, it actually means you can just add or tweak things right before you send them on. Not only does this save time, it makes things a whole lot easier across the board and it doesn't fill your gallery with images you might not necessarily want to be keeping there. While you likely won't see the benefits initially, adaptive charging has now been tuned on Pixel devices to ensure that your smartphone battery lifespan is considered when the feature is activated in Android 12. Adaptive charging basically slows the charging speed between 80 and 100% thresholds and in turn helps reduce the wear and tear on your Pixel's internal battery. This charging process should more now closely match or align with your on-device alarm when your phone is placed on charge overnight and hopefully should mean that you can use your Pixel for much, much longer. Expanding upon the growing suite of accessibility features in Android 12, a new camera switch allows you to control your phone with facial expressions via the selfie camera. The facial expressions that can be performed include doing things like opening your mouth, smiling, raising your eyebrows, and looking left, right, or up. This feature will, by default, ask the user to set expressions for next, select, and pause, which stops the phone from recognizing other gestures temporarily. Other actions include previous, touch and hold, scroll, forward, backward, home, back notifications, quick settings, and even overview and multitasking. For those with motor disabilities, this might be an exceptional feature, and it's really great to see Google enhancing the accessibility features of Android 12. Simple and effective, the new pill-shaped quick settings toggles now just have a simple on or off indicator underneath to make it even more obvious if something is activated or not. You might not even understand why this is a nice addition to Android 12, but for accessibility and being explicit, for those with vision related issues, it does make it rather obvious whether a button is activated than just a highlighted button accent. So these 20 features signify what we consider the very best of the latest OS update and still only account for around 20% of the full Android 12 release. We want to know though, if you've installed this massive update on your Google Pixel, let us know what your favorite new feature is down in the comment sections below. But as always, until next time, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.